So you brainwashed my stupid clone. Brainwashed? No. I have awakened him to his true purpose. Your present is on its way, but it'll be there in, in about a week. What did you mean? He means Gare's on his way to destroy us. So, uh, what's the point of you coming here to terminate my existence? Because Master Josiah commanded me to. So you're telling me that you're just going to do whatever the heck some guy with facial hair and sunglasses tells you to do? Yeah, pretty much. Living the simple life. Huh, makes sense. So how you been? Other than the fact that you pretty much came out of a box and nearly gave me a heart attack, I'm actually doing pretty good. Well, that's good. Great, actually. Darth Gear didn't find me, so uh, I didn't die today. That's nice. You kind of missed your chance to talk about E3 last week since instead an updated episode was shown. So how about you do that? Oh, joy. So I'm kind of freaking late to this, but E3 2014 happened and it was quite the scene for the big three. For instance, a new Call of Duty game was announced, Far Cry 4, a new Battlefield, new Tom Clancy game, Cough with an absolutely horrible Ubisoft presenter, Cough, Cough. And then there was Xbox One and all, but Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo. Thank you for not being stupid this year. Last year, Nintendo Nintendo announced two really rad games, Mario Kart 8 and Smash Bros. Wii U. But other than that, the Nintendo E3 last year was just kind of a disappointment. This year though, they hit it out of the ballpark. Except for the Trias technical screw-ups. Hi, look, I'm an insider freak who just likes to smile. What's going on with the video? They are showing the video. Where's the video, guys? Gu guys, where's the video? Guys. Oh, look, Rob Schultz. Also, 
Nintendo Digital event. Wow, I wonder what that possibly could be. Other than that, Nintendo nailed it. Of course, I'm a Nintendo fan, but I also looked at what other people said about Nintendo E3, and I guess, according to a lot of people, Nintendo may have won E3 this year. This obviously isn't to say that Microsoft and Sony didn't have anything interesting. I know nothing of Far Cry except for the name, but looking at Far Cry 4, it actually looks pretty good. I don't really know what to say about the new Battlefield. It's... Different. And then there was a new Call of Duty, but nobody cares about that piece of crap. Oh boy, new just dance game? That's exactly what I hate! What is the point of dance games? You have to move around and do stupid things that the game tells you to do. It's humiliation! Dance games are crap! Oh yeah, and other Kinect games that look absolutely retarded. But Nintendo! Nintendo also announced some new thing called Amiibo, and it's I, I think it's dumb, but it's probably going to be a good marketing scheme. We all love awkward grown men who love to play with toys. Oh. Hello everyone, looks like you got me playing with my toys. They also announced Pac-Man for Smash Bros, so now all the big old four are in the same game. Do you know how happy that makes me? That's happiness in a happy jar full of happy things. <laughs> and then they also announced Pollutin' up for Smash Bros through an anime trailer, and let's just add that to the happiness jar too. Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 it's, it's Star Fox. Oh, uh, you know what? We saw that yesterday. There are too many of those games. Stop making so many Star Foxes at the same time! Oh yeah, also a new game with squids, and what is this? This is this. It is this a new a new Zelda? This year was a good year. That's wonderful, Garrett. No one cares. <laughs>